Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. New York State Audit here, exercising our constitutional rights at the Schenectady County Office Building, located in Schenectady, New York. So the last time we were here, or technically my first time is what I'm referring to. My first time I was here was May 6th of 2022. And uh, I was unlawfully arrested by Officer Stockman of the Schenectady Police Department. Um, Demantra Constantine is the deputy county clerk, if I remember correctly. And the DA had granted her a temporary order of protection. I don't know if she asked for it or if the DA uh, took it upon himself or themselves uh, to grant her that. But uh, I'm here because, uh, you know, naturally I wanted to do a, a revisit and hopefully, you know, uh, everything goes well. Uh, the second time I was here uh, after being unlawfully arrested, uh, I spoke to Miss Ackerley from the Schenectady County Clerk's Office. So she's the clerk, the county clerk. And uh, in the second video, she stated how, how they have been educated, which, which is awesome. You know, so, you know, we're gonna see uh, when we get in here, if they have been educated. Uh, I would like to go to the legislative office to speak with Mr. Hall. He is the, uh, I forgot what his, his title is, but when I gotta go to him for a FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Law request, because I've been waiting a while, so we're gonna see, see what he has to say. How's it going, Mr. O'Reilly? How are you doing? Not too bad, here's my bag. Yup, and I can set this right here. Yeah. That's fine with you. I don't have uh, any anything metal or anything like that. Everything's in my bag. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. So it looks like they have some decorations up. Cool. So I wanted to come here because uh, the charges uh, were dropped for my arrest here, for my unlawful arrest. So I figured uh, after they dropped the charges, naturally I come and do a visit. So this is Human Resources and Civil Service Commission.
Oh, nice little picture there. So this is Human Rights Commission. I wonder what he's watching. Cause he is definitely laughing. All right, let's check over here real quick. As you can see, we cannot go in there. We're going to hit the stairs. I believe uh, the legislative office is on the fifth floor. So I think there's fifth or sixth floor. So there's about, I don't even know how many in total, but maybe six. But we're going to check out each floor. So this is the third floor. This is where I was uh, unlawfully arrested. Not the exact room. We'll go into the room in a moment. Yeah, well, that's how it goes, you know? So I will be back in a few minutes because I have to bring something back for Bob, so. Yeah. So they got a whole bunch of decorations up. They got another area over here, a couple work areas. Well, I don't not necessarily look like a work area.
So Kara M. Ackley is the county clerk. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing good things. Let me know when you need me, okay? Yeah, if yeah, if I no problem at all. How's your day so far? Oh good. Yeah. Halfway through the week. I know, right? <laughs> So here's a lot of the equipment that they use here. So that uh, nice uh, lady was the county clerk. Yeah, it was actually uh, on my second visit when I came here after my uh, unlawful arrest is when I met Miss Ackerley. Very nice lady. Pretty cool, and they have a lot of books. Miscellaneous tax maps, a whole bunch of other stuff. City and County Atlas. This look at this book is humongous. Yeah, and it's definitely got some age. Some of these books I don't even want to open. Mess around and they just fall apart. And I believe, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see for yourself. These books are for court records. And I think they got a few things over here. Good, what can I do for you? I don't recall seeing this machine. This machine looks new, but I could be wrong. All right. Have a good day. Oh, you too. Have a great one. I will do my best. All right. All right. So we're going to go up to the fourth floor. I had to remember where I was quickly. So yeah, fourth floor. Yeah, other than my first visit, when I was unlawfully arrested, uh, when I do go into the county clerk's office, you know, she's always nice. And everybody, everybody technically, any other time is nice.
So that's a family court. And they have a judge's order where you're not allowed to film in that particular area. Part 29 and part 131, if I remember correctly. only so we can't go in here Here's the fifth floor. I wanna say the office I need to go to is gonna be on the sixth floor. Morning. Morning. Don't yawn, man. You're gonna make me yawn. That's con that, that's contagious. You, yeah, you can't do that. I had so much coffee. I shouldn't be yawning. <laughs> I've been up since like four in the morning because of all the stuff. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get away for you. You're gonna yawn again. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> you guys have a good day. So that's uh, employees only as well. All right, so that floor is pretty much just for court from what, from what it looked like to me. Now this is where I came to go. You know what? I know this is where we gotta go, but I see. I see another floor. I've never been past this floor and I don't see a sign that says personnel only. So let's take a walk. This is all new for me. And to be honest, I don't think I like the way this looks. Try to make it clear, but it wasn't working. This just looks like stuff, like it goes to the roof. But we're not even gonna bother. I don't think there's anything up there. Well, I'm sure there's something up there, but 
I don't think there's uh, anything up there that needs disseminating. All right, so we're gonna go over here first because behind me, oh, I see some new stuff now. Okay. Mm, all right, so they did some updates to the building, so I'm glad I'm actually going around. So these signs, and I'm gonna put the, uh, the video of my unlawful arrest, uh, I'm gonna add it to the description. I'm gonna put the link in the description. I think I'm gonna put like two, two videos. The first uh, video, when, my first visit when I was unlawfully arrested as well as my second visit. So they didn't have those authorized personnel only signs. All right, that one I can't really say. Matter of fact, yeah, I can actually, because I, I went in here last time. I went in specifically into this, there's a room, there's a door over there. That office right there is empty, unless you know somebody uh, filled it, but it's usually empty. So yeah, I've been in here. Every time I come here to visit, I've been in there. So they put some signs up. Where there's, you know, it says authorized personnel only. I've been in here as well. You got the county manager and the county auditor. So I've been in here as well. And there was no signs stating, you know, no authorized uh, personnel only signs. So I'll let you guys uh, in the comments feel free to, you know, let me know how you feel about that sign. That's interesting. So he comes over to lock the door when I'm not even inside. That's odd. But yeah, feel free to let me know in the comment section how you feel about this new sign. It's connected to county legislator. Legislature, excuse me. It's connected to county chambers. And this is, every time I come, it's always closed and locked so you can see for yourself. Oh yeah, it's locked but for some reason it's not locked properly so the door can open as you can see but i'm not gonna go in there so this guy's been watching me let's see if he says anything yeah start and zipping's pretty good too you know you get nola and musgrove tonight i'm not sure i mean it's a, it's a good matchup you know yeah figures nice it is yeah see anything new other than this hello, hello. hello how are you today I'm fine. I you. doing great I'm, I'm doing all right I just came in uh look around gather some content for a story is mr. Uh, Jeffrey Hall here You can call me, sir. Actually, just okay, got off the phone. Oh, hey, oh. Mr. Hall himself. How are you today? I'm doing well. What can I do for you? Um, I was just wondering um, if you can give me an update on the a FOIA request that I had uh, made for, I believe it's the Niskayuna Post Office. The Niskayuna Post Office would not be anything to do with us. If you sent it here, we would have sent it back saying that you would have to uh, address that with the, the Postal Service. Not us. I think all the requests that you have filed with us, we have responded to and uh, sent you the materials that were available. Um, yeah, I believe. Yeah, I, I believe so. Uh, so far, yeah, from from what I've collected, yeah, you guys sent me uh, mostly everything. Yes. Um, there were, there, I, as, I, I, as I recall, there were a few items that were not available with a, you know records that didn't exist. So you could right. Those, well, the the sheriffs. Uh, the, you're referring to the FOIA request I made uh, with the sheriff's, one of the sheriff's uh, phone. 
so I can because I need because they took a picture of me. Yeah. So I, yeah. Yeah, we were informed that there was no record. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna be going down there, at, you know, after my visit here and, and having a conversation with them and find out what's going on, mm -hmm. uh, because you know it's, it's not your fault that they're not giving you those records or if they're telling you that there's no such records. Um, I can't remember. I did a FOIA request for uh, the 911 call at a different post office. I thought it was here that I did the FOIA request. Oh, for a 911 call. Okay, I thought you were referring, you, you said the Miskeeter Post Office. We yeah, no, yeah, actually, it, my apologies. I wasn't specific yeah. about uh, what the FOIA request was. My apologies. I don't recall seeing that one. I'd have to go back and look through our records okay, to yeah. see, because I don't recall seeing that one. I can't tell you how long it's been, to be honest, okay. um, because every time I, I do attempt to go to the website, there's not a way for me to go. Like, there's not a, a location where I can actually see what requests I've done. You know, like, for example, like the City Hall uh, FOIA request website, they do. Like, you know, they have a list of all the FOIA requests you have, whether they're denied or not. The county doesn't have that no, on their we website. we send you back uh, your request with the, the inter, you know, we send you a letter acknowledging what you Well, no, that, technically that's not true either, you know, because on my last visits, I had to come here and find out what was going on because I never got receipt of acknowledgement to any of my FOIA requests. I even have two FOIA requests that I've done gathering content for my stories with, uh, I forgot her name, I apologize. Alyssa. Alyssa, yes, Miss Alyssa, um, paper, okay, paper form, mm -hmm. and one of them has to do with uh, Sheriff Ferguson, okay, and a uh, FOIA request that I did for the public library, and I haven't, had, there's nothing, I haven't gotten anything about it. I'll have yet. to go back and look. So, I, and that was on, and on the, I believe it was on the first, I want to say it was on the first of June okay, that I did I'll that. I'll go back and look because I, I think that we are, I thought we were current with everything that we had sent you, everything that was available for all of your requests at this point. Right. Well, maybe so, you weren't aware of it because the, the the two I did actually did in, in person. Well, uh, but I would still see all. Of them, okay. So well, yeah. So, uh, I don't really know what happened. You know, I yeah, just all so, I know is that I did it sure. with her, and I'm just yeah. I'm still waiting for that. And, I'll, I'll go back and double check because uh, my uh, my recollection is that we we sent everything to all of the, that responded to all of your requests that were available. Okay. Well, yeah. The, I just only came for the for the nine one one call. Okay. You know, because uh, you know, I'm I'm working on a story and yeah, and that I, one, I we I, I think uh, I think we have your email address. We can email you. If I, yeah, of course. I, I, like I said, I don't recall seeing that one. So um, no, it was I think it was you that responded to it. You actually responded asking me what loca uh, what location the the post office was at, and I and and I sent a response back telling you oh, exactly. Okay. So yeah. we've already talked about this. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah. Gonna apologize. We get all nah, the it's all right. No, I'm, you're all. a busy guy. You know, I'm, I can only assume <laughs> what, you know, because you got to handle all the FOIA requests amongst the other things that I don't other, know. Right, things, right. Yes. You know, yeah. so I just wanted to just, you know, find out what was going on and, mm -hmm. and, and I already did. I'm just going to head out now and uh, and hopefully I can get yeah, I'll, I'll look into that and I'll, we'll, we'll email you an update where, where it is because, like I said, I thought we were current on everything. Okay, no. Nah, so if, if not, I apologize that we were... Yeah. Uh, behind on something okay and it's no problem at all you know i just you know i just like i said i can't i can't work on this particular story that i'm trying to do without that okay. without that call so if you know if you can just you know whenever you get a chance just feel free to you know give yeah, me I'll, a, a I'll email look it up this afternoon and figure out what, what happened with that okay so, awesome yeah. all right yeah thank you we're yep. set. yeah we're all set now okay. I, I guess uh Great. you know hopefully i won't have to come back here and well, <laughs> have another yeah, conversation yeah, if, well if i come back here it'd be for something else but hopefully if, it won't have to do with foyer requests yeah if you if you uh if you uh if, if there was something that we still had hanging out there we'll we'll get your response quickly okay awesome yeah thank okay. you very much sure. you guys have a good day thank you All right, so that was Mr. Hall. He's always nice when I speak to him. Always cordial. Uh, Miss Outlaw, Tamara, Tamira, Tamara Outlaw, something like that. She's, uh, she was actually on point today, but <laughs> the last time I saw her, she was all snappy talking about, you do not have my permission to publish me and all this crazy stuff, but uh, I can only assume that she's been informed because she didn't give me any attitude this time. So we're gonna head out, wrap this video up. I just wanted to uh, come here because I've been waiting for, I think it's been like a couple months already when I put the Freedom of Information Law request about my uh, 911 
phone call that was made. So hopefully, once I get that information, I'll be able to do this other video. And then this is a new, new, uh, new section that they put up. They had this blocked off, but this is only for employees. So information technology. Take care, Officer O'Reilly. You have a great day. Oh, you're welcome. All right, so that was it. I just wanted to come here and find out what was going on with my FOIA request. Uh, hopefully, you know, he takes a look at it and and gets gives me what uh, what I requested. I think this was a great visit. It's clear that you know they've been informed and or educated, however you want to call it. It's been clear. Um, every interaction that I had has been pleasant. I noticed that they got some some authorized personnel only signs. I think that's interesting, to be honest. Uh, I've already put my, and I didn't want to, to be honest, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to make the, the citizens of Schenectady pay for uh, the actions of certain individuals like Demantra Constantine, because she's one of the main reasons why all my, uh, why I got unlawfully arrested that day. She escalated the whole situation. And uh, Officer Stockman, uh, I met him before this unlawful arrest or the unlawful arrest here. I met him at the post office my very first time. I told him what I do, you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And uh, for some reason, he left his integrity at the post office. So, you know, I was unlawfully arrested that day and I came back, I want to say like a week later or so, I can't remember. And uh, Miss Ackerley was awesome. You know, she, she, out her mouth, she stated herself that they've been educated. And I appreciated that so much, to be honest, because at least they knew that they messed up. You know, that was almost like an apology without her apologizing, you know. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But uh, I'm going to keep you guys uh, updated about, uh, you know, any lawsuits or, or not lawsuits, but excuse me, one particular lawsuit when it comes to this this uh building this unlawful arrest so i'll keep you guys updated you know as always smash that like button if you like the video hit that share button so we can expose the good the bad and the ugly take care of one another excuse me i can't even talk take care of one another see if i don't take my time man, it just comes out <laughs> it just comes out it's gibberish sometimes but yeah take care of one another treat each other good you know the way you want to be treated you, you know what time it is i don't got to tell you but I'm going to see you guys next time.